Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be showing you how I do my dip powder at home. A lot of you actually wanted to see this, so I'm really excited to show you how I create my nails at home on my own. So if you want to see how I do my nails, then just keep on watching. So I completed all of my other nails, and I'm going to show you guys how I do my dip powder on this nail. So I'm going to be using the red carpet color dip nail system. So we have the base coat right here, activator, and the top coat, and the shade I'm going to be using is meant to be mint. So what I'm going to do first is actually take this red carpet purify pre and post application cleanser and a lint free wipe. So what I'm going to start off by doing is taking this and running this over my nail to take off any excess oil or dust or particles that were left on my nail from shaping my nails and it's best to use an alcohol based cleanser. So I'm now going to take the base coat. So you want to take a thin layer of base coat and run that over the entire nail. And then quickly dip that into the powder at a 45 degree angle. And then I'd like to take a cuticle pusher and just kind of tap the top of my finger just to shake off any of the excess powder. And then once that first layer is set, I like to just take a brush and brush off any of the excess powder. And then we're going to repeat those same steps with the base coat. Once again, dip that into the powder. So here is what it looks like after two coats. I usually like to do three coats. You can repeat the process as many times as you like. The only reason I like to do three coats is just because I like when my nails are a little bit thicker because they feel more sturdy and a little bit stronger, which is the same word as sturdy, <laughs> but it also kind of ensures that the color is more opaque and intense. And now once again, just brush off any of the excess powder. And then we are going to do our last set, applying the base coat once again all over the nail. And then again, quickly dipping that into the powder. Sometimes you want to just shake it a little bit onto your nail if your nail is not fully covered. And then again, just tap off the excess powder off your nail. And then if you have anything around your nails, sometimes it won't come off, but usually it'll come off with filing, but you can kind of just pick it off real quick with a cuticle pusher and then just dust off the excess once more. So now I'm going to take the activator and I'm going to apply this all over the nail and then going back into the base coat and I'm going to apply this again all over the nail, just a really thin coat. And what this does is kind of ensures that the color stays in place when I buff it. And now I'm gonna let the base coat dry on top of this finger and then we'll get into buffing. When it comes to shaping my nails, I like to just kind of concentrate on the sides first And what I like to do is just kind of concentrate around the cuticle first, just to make sure that it's kind of thinner than the rest because I don't want it to be kind of bulky right here. And then just round off the top. So once the nail is shaped, I like to take a buffer and just lightly buff over my nail to smooth it out. Now I'm gonna take the activator once again and brush that over the entire nail. And then you're gonna to wanna to wait about 20 seconds for the activator to set. And then once again, you're gonna take a lint-free wipe and just wipe off the activator and excess from your nail. And now finally, last but not least, the top coat. First applying the first layer of top coat because we are gonna be applying two layers. And then we're going to apply the second layer of top coat. And if you happen to get on your skin, just take a cuticle pusher and just wipe that away. And then after the top coat is dry, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of vitamin E oil around my cuticle just to kind of nourish them and hydrate them again. And that's it, this is the completed look of my nails and this is how I do my dip powder at home.